determine if the following two functions are inverses or not. So what has to hold for functions to be inverses? Well, they have to undo what happened, whatever, whatever the rule did to them. So x's become y's, y's become x's, they go down the backwards path, whatever analogy you've seen in classes. But effectively, we need that f composed with g of x must be equal to g composed of f with x. And both of these really just have to give you x, because an inverse is going to undo whatever was done. So you should be left with your original. So let's see if these are inverses of each other or not. Notice one of them is being subtracted and the other one's being added, so maybe they cancel each other out. What is f of g of x? Well, that would be f of the g of x, which is 7x minus 6. What does the f do? The f takes something, multiplies it by 7, and adds 6. So it's going to take the 7x minus 6, multiply by 7, and then add 6. Distributive property, 49x minus 42 plus 6, and finally 49x minus 36. Notice that this is not x as needed, so these are definitely not going to be inverses. For extra practice, let's still calculate though, what is g of f of x? g of f of x would have been g interpreted at the f of x, which was 7x plus 6. So this time you would have gotten the g 7 times something minus 6, and the object being plugged in would have been 7x plus 6. Distributive property, 49x plus 42 minus 6, therefore 49x plus 36. In both cases, we did not get x. This is not inverses. These are not inverses. So let's do another example. Try another example. f of x equals x minus 5 over 2, and g of x equals 2x plus 5. f of g of x would be f of 2x plus 5 which would be 2x plus 5 minus 5 over 2 and notice conveniently the 5's cancel out so you get 2x over 2 and then the 2's cancel out so you're left with x so f of g of x did indeed equal x let's make sure it goes the other way also g of f of x would be g of this weirdo rational expression that's okay though that would be equal to 2 times x minus 5 over 2 plus 5 looks like the 2's cancel so we're getting an x minus 5 plus a 5 and those cancel so yes I got an x so that means yes these are definitely inverses cool okay well try one on your own here pause the video and see if you can determine if this function is its own inverse so assuming you gave it a shot here and pause the video and then now let's do it together get f of g of x is equal to f of 5 over x which would be equal to 5 over 5 over x and of course dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by a reciprocal so what do we get when we do the reciprocal here would be 5 multiplied by x over 5 hey it looks like these might be inverses also in fact we don't really need to do g of f of x because since the two functions were identical we know that it's going to be exactly the same calculation and so g of x g of f of x would also be equal to x so yes in this case we again do have inverses